All right, so here we are in round one. And uh, this is not an ideal hand, but I'm going to go ahead and keep it. Use mulliganing, so. Whatever. Got some gas eventually. It'll take us a while to get up to this one coil engine, but he double mulligan, so we'll probably be able to get there. Looks like he's in blue. Okay. Turn. I bounced in permanent. Oh, crap. I guess I should have played the swamps to lead. I wanted to put the clip. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely. I should have led with the swamp. Because uh, this is the. It was only one card that I couldn't could play if I led with the swamp, but I couldn't play if I led with the planes. But yeah, so he comes back as a four four. When it dies, yeah, it comes back eventually as a four four. No, oh, that's awkward. Um. I think I'm gonna play the Nizumi short thing. Because I want this guy to get caught with hands and uh, Yeah. I wanna discard force him to discard whatever he's got. And I didn't really want to block this guy anyway, so. Well, counters from target permanent. So that's probably not going to apply to a card in exile, right? And tap target permanent, draw a card. Okay, so he's just trying to. Oh, yeah. That's fine. So. I guess I just force him to discard a card. He obviously doesn't like that. And then I won't have anything else to do this turn, but whatever. And we do have six cards eventually, so. He discarded Gifts Unforgiven, wow. Laundry's done. Turn back to him, and he's going to come in and bounce something, which I guess is probably going to be this guy. Force him to discard gifts unforgiven. Well, oh, he hit his other color, or other one of the other colors. All right, so a little bit behind in tempo. He's only got two cards in hand. I'm not too terribly concerned. That's pretty annoying, though. Yeah, that's a bad one. Ooh, wah, wah, wah. So we get five mana this turn. I think we just play a Vampire Hex Mage and Mizumi Short Fang. Probably should have played the Nizumi short thing first. But no big deal. How much life will he lose? What does it say? Flips at the beginning of plays is one life for each card fewer than three in his hand, so it'll do three down per turn if he's got no cards in hand. Plus that. Be able to play Restoration Angel and Worm coil engine soon. Let's see what we got going here. Mana war. 
That's kind of annoying. I don't know why he's not attacking with the Apocrisite. I think we just play the Nazumi Short Thing and then ambush with the Restoration Angel. Though having the six power lifelinker would be kind of helpful too, but what are you going to do? He's actually playing fairly conservatively. I don't know why exactly. Yeah, all right. Oh no, wait, I guess he wasn't conservative. The, uh, he, he couldn't attack with the Man of War. He just got to get rid of the Apocrisite. Because we just need some time. Okay, so he's got an empty hand. So we can flip this guy if we want to. Hmm. <laughs> All right. So options, we can play Gideon Jura, destroy like this guy, and flip the short fang. Or, let's see, we could on Burial Rites a Restoration Angel. It doesn't seem great. Or we could just play the Worm Coil Engine. So let's see, if we play the Gideon Jura, he'll have two guys who could come in and attack him. And then he could just start doing the plus two to buy us some time. And eventually we can get that back. Just taking damage from that, he'll take a fair bit. Yeah, I think that's good because he's going to take like three damage per turn, unless he wants to do nothing uh, from the Zumi Short Fang. So, so he's flipped. And we destroy target tapped creature. Yep. And he's a 3-3 three, three now, so he can actually start, he can attack in too. Also, let's see. We can uh, Resto Angel on Gideon Jura, actually. If he takes him down to two this turn, or if he decides not to attack my face. So, I feel pretty good about this game. Uh, I mean, Bitter Blossom is definitely annoying. It's a good thing he didn't get that out on turn two. He is attacking Gideon. Okay. Um, can't block. Huh. So let's see. It's five mana for that. So I almost want to do this so I can turn him into a 6 6 human soldier creature and have him and. Yeah, have like the whole team attack and then 
So that's 11 damage coming at him, and then I can blink in the uh, yeah blink in the restoration angel to reset him to six counters, and I don't think he can do much about that. Or I could play shrieking grotesque and shrieking grotesque and make him discard that card. No, I think this is this is good. It's definitely fun to do this anyway. So. So actually I'll just attack with these two. I'll leave the stab whisker back for uh, for blocking purposes. Oh so what actually actually I can when I blink him back I can reactivate his ability, right? Right? It works like that, right? God, I hope this guy doesn't have, like, uh, whatever, destroy target creature. That would suck. At instant speed, black. Oh, this is a fun play to make, though. it until he doesn't. Okay, and we're back. So, he just chumped, which is fine. That happens. Barrel writes that. Blink him back. So he just has to attack me. Here he has to attack Gideon Jury. He can't attack me. And he'll take two from Stab Whisker, the Odious. Hypocrisite will come back eventually. That's no big deal. attack Gideon Jura. Kill one of them. Takes two. All right. So, let's see. Do I just want to... I guess I think I just want to make him a... Uh, Make him a creature and attack again, force the chump there, and then uh, he takes three, eight. It looks like he'll take eight from the other guys. Let me make him discard something. Just to be sure. Discard the swamp, that's no big deal. And turn into a creature. And attack and he just gives up okay that was solid so what does that do so it looks like he's blue and whatever and whatever and whatever and ever Oh, I think my dog's having an interesting dream. Oh no, I woke her up. Um, okay. So, is there anything I want to add 
or delete or I think this deck's just okay but anyway uh, yeah I think we're just fine to go oh I uh, should have added uh, anti-enchantment better blossom is just nasty uh, we were lucky enough to not to get killed by it, but yeah, we're gonna have to mulligan the one in hand. We'll keep this. Oops, we're gonna have to draw stuff. Yeah, we might actually want to pal uh, sideboard out the paladin in back. Although he does have protection from black, which could be relevant. All right, so hope he doesn't have mana tithe. Damn it! What do I think is mana tithe? That's the one I've got. Oh well. Gain control less than or equal. That's weird. So he could steal my paladin in back, but. We won't give him the chance. We'll t put out a blade splicer instead. We can steal the blade splicer, but I'd still have the three three, and then he'd this guy be tapped. The first strike's not super terribly relevant against this guy's deck, apparently. Uh, we are going to need to draw some more lands. Where's our Basilica would be a good draw right now. Leaving Magpie. Yeah. Uh, I will slam Faith Fighters on him if I have the opportunity. So now I want to swamp. Or X Fiend Hunter is fine too. So I'm trying to think. If I attack, he uses his ability, steals the Blade Splicer, and chumps with him. That doesn't seem good. So I guess I will just not attack. And. Get rid of the thieving magpie. Okay, so he does it anyway, which is fine. We will not attack into that. We cannot allow him to just start drawing cards. That is a bad thing. Yes. So he chose to get rid of him, so he's going to steal him and sacrifice him or something? Dodge the Bitter Blossom thing. That's a good one. Mana War, and he's going to bounce the Fiend Hunter. Or, oh, he's going to bounce that guy. Okay. Yeah, I can survive, I can live with it. Put a treasure counter, sacrifice screen. Oh wow. Alright. That could be an issue. Yeah, this is not drawing lanes. Okay. Yeah, we just pass the turn back to him. This game's not looking good for us. Or I guess I can play the paladin in back. But boy, 
Yeah, I guess I play the Paladin Invoke. Just try and stay alive here. But we can steal that with Legacy's Order if he just waits a turn. Meh. Meh. Power less than or equal to. That's craziness. How is that an uncommon? Yeah, I need to add in some anti enchantments. However, I can put the face fetters on that. So, that's pretty good. No, I can just see. Yeah, I can just just take care of everything right now. I just have my entire board. And he's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. Should probably go ahead and do it, bro. Probably just go ahead and do it. I'm gonna pause until he does it. All right, he's gonna do this first. Draw three cards and discard two cards unless you discard an artifact. Seems fine. Some instants. Turn six. He's, well, I thought he was gonna look for. He was looking for a land, but I guess not. Bitter blossom. Yikes. Okay, yeah, this game is not looking good for us. I don't know why he just doesn't steal everything. Okay, swamp. What do I do here? Um, I guess I Faith Spetters the Legacies a little. And then he'll, he just has to do it now rather than later. Or I could put the Faith Spetters on the Old Man of the Sea. And then he'll just go ahead and steal the Paladin and Beck, I guess. Um, I don't want to spend too much time on this since this game looks so dreadful. Assuming he sacrifices that, does it? I don't even get the four life. Yeah, I guess I'll just do it on face or on uh, the old man of the sea. And hope eventually I can get just hit him with the catastrophe before things get too bad. So I'll start playing a little quick, because unless I just rip lands and hit Catastrophe, I don't think I can win this game. Auto yields. Auto yields. That thing's ridiculous. Though I think I... Alright. Double block the Mana War, I guess, right? Why not? There's a weird thing about this cube is I don't... Oh, no way. That was the earlier cube. The last cube I played in was uh, was with the Power Nine. It was a lot of fun, but there were no combat tricks whatsoever in the cube. It was boring. The X what? Oh, he's got the Delve guy. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. All right. Through the rest of Angel again. Uh, I don't think I want to play that. We are a little bit ahead on time, so maybe we do. Just try to drag the game out, force him to pop Legacies Allure, drag the game out a little bit more. 
And yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and, and blink him if I can. So I can get rid of this guy. He's a bigger problem for me. Kill that and take take one. I think that's reasonable-ish. No, I probably should have just blocked and killed killed the fairy rogue. Fairy rogue token. He looks more like a fairy than a rogue. I'm not saying nothing, but I'm saying. So he, wait, with, oh, target creature, oh, okay. So he's still blocked, I take one, okay. I thought that was, oh, wow, okay. So that card's not as insane as I thought it was. Well, that'll slow things down, and I guess we just have to slow it down. Also, we're a little bit ahead on time, so if we can slow this down a little bit. It'll help us. So we can level this guy up to a... Um, can you only level up as a sorcery? Do I not know that? Right. Yeah, okay. Level up as a sorcery then. Okay. I did not know that. I thought that was an instant speed thing. Just trying to stay alive, running down this clock. So we're only ahead by 30 seconds, but 30 seconds can be a lot if we get into it. turn here you kill us next turn and now he's got no yeah he can kill us next turn if we don't do anything so we're probably just dead and make him go through this whole curse scroll rigmarole uh, all right let's see if maybe he does this wrong card. Too bad for you, my friend. This should be lethal. It clicks everybody. Yep. Alright, well, we would have been able to 
to Wrath next turn. I'm all good at gotten back in it. Alright. So we are the hate of the enchantments. He's got two pretty nasty ones. So do I want to add this guy too, and then we get rid of the green, uh, blue s that splash? It's a little hard. And then we'd add that and that. Cut these. Add land two forests. I think that's what we do. Oh, we would add that over one of the pores, over our planes. So that only leaves eight white sources. Well, that's a white source, too. It comes in play tap. Yeah. Um, and then what do we cut? Target non black creature. Didn't seem like he had any non black creatures. On re well, he did have one, one guy, but not a lot of them. And maybe the ravenous rats. Or maybe this. Maybe the ramp. It's kind of slow ramp. Can't do anything else for, but ramp. All right. Sure. Let's see how this works out. We'll play first, and we'll keep this hand. So we leave with the swamp. So, hmm. Yeah, we turn to Jedi, so we can't get countered. And then Tangle Wire is just like not going to affect us hardly at all. So we'll have two artifacts we can tap for it. Let's see if this resolves. So he basically is not going to be able to do anything. And so I need that effect to resolve last. So I need to put put that effect on the stack first and then fading will be above it. So tap goes on first and then f and fade first. Solves. Okay. All right. So, and we cast ravenous rats. He has to discard. And that's something we can stick the jitty on. A tapped jitty. Oh, he. Okay. So he's able to do something this turn. He was able to cycle through. But I still think the tempo advantage of that is just ridiculous. Ridiculous. So what are my options in Judy? I forget they're all so good. So a creep creature gets plus two, plus two. Or target creature gets minus one, minus one, or gain two life. Okay. That's pretty good. And 
attack. There you go. So we still got to tap two lands, so he's going to be hard pressed to do that much this turn. Meanwhile, the Jate just gets nice and solid. Nice to draw a forest for that. Oh, he'll have three. solid tempo card, especially when you have the Jete out. Oh, he's delving. That's fine. Still resolved his, his 8 drop. That's fine. It's a little tempting to use the Jitte to give him plus four, plus four, and really start to hurt him. But I think just having the counters in reserve is better. Nothing else I can use him to gain a bunch of life. Okay. So Tango Wire is not going to do much anymore. Jitte is doing some solid work on him, I believe. Uh, it is a little worrisome. He's got six cards in hand. And I have basically one. I have a land and a guy I can't cast. But through the power of Jitte, I shall survive. I shall survive. Hey, hey. Alright, what have we here? Future site, play with the top card of your library revealed. Boy, this guy loves the enchantments. Counter target spell draw card. Okay. So, where is it? And I gotta write that down. So, next turn that has four mana. Okay. Uh, I think we just go ahead and attack. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of pressure on here. Uh, I think five counters will be enough. Just in case. Essence Scat. So yeah, as long as he's got mana up, he's got counters basically. Definitely should have sideboarded in the uh, anti-enchantment stuff earlier. Mana War. So he's going to bounce what? Uh, I was going to bounce the Fiend Hunter. That's fine. Just reek. Yeah.
That sucks. But I can kill him with the Jitte. Or actually, I can transfer that to the, this guy who's got protection from black and red. If he doesn't block, then um, he doesn't see that and doesn't block, he dies. Yeah, yeah, get rid of this nonsense. All right, let's do this first. Er, er. Yeah, let's not. Equip. Okay. This is fine. Actually, I don't even care about that guy. I'd rather just keep my potentially lethal jeté. Let's do that. I don't know why. But let's do it that way. And we'll not just walk right into the counter spell. Uh, do I want to equip this guy instead? No, let's not do that. Impulse. Okay. So he might not have the essence scatter. He might. He might. He might not. Shadow Mage Infiltrator. That's pretty annoying. But he'll have to deal with this guy this turn. He's got protection from black, so that's tricky. Take five, sure. Debating whether or not I should draw the Mind Stone. I guess I probably should. Or, yeah. Depends on what he does here. It looks like he's just dead on board. I think having uh, an extra card potentially get me to this stuff if he ever taps out. Okay, so that's just covering up the future sites. We're ahead on time too, so if this game drags out, if it drags out, it actually favors him quite a bit. But pretty sure he's just dead, and he's just trying to figure out some way, some way, somehow. I mean, he probably. Might have uh, so I know one of the four cards he has in hand is that four mana counter draw card. So we're not going to want to cast anything that could potentially draw him into an answer when he looks to be dead on board. Flame Cloud Skate return target permanent to its owner's hand. That's not good for us. Go ahead and draw a card anyway. Catastrophe. Interesting. Alright, so. He's got two mana left. Could be counterspell. Assuming he's going to target, target the Jitte. The Jitte is a bigger problem. 
Tardine was us. All right, so let's just wipe his board. He's got seven counters. Resolves. It does. And we'll put down another threat. Does have the essence scatter? No. Okay. So you got a board wipe, maybe? And we win. All right. Good times. Fun, fun match. Uh, we'll be seeing you in round number two.